What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the New York Rangers look how close we were got the second overall pick couldn't quite get the first overall so Lafreniere likely not coming here but the second overall pick should yield us uh, what that other winger. I think it was the right right winger. Uh, I could be wrong, but still, second overall, that's great. That Columbus pick is paying off in dividends for sure. Our other pick is ninth overall, and then our third one probably somewhere back in the 20s. We'll see where it is. Hopefully, we might be able to get the franchise goalie who is actually uh, projected to go there. This could be a huge draft for us. Um, I mean, yeah, it could be. Oh, unfortunately, it is. The center, who's listed to go second. Yeah, typical. <laughs> Weak character, but then it looks like he'll mesh in locker rooms. I don't know. Hmm. Obviously, you'd prefer Lafreniere here, but it's probably just not possible to grab him. Dublowitz is listed. Well, our scout has him listed at four. Central scouting at three. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah. I'd prefer someone other than the center, honestly. Like, But that might just... We might kind of just have to grab him. Because Lafreniere is likely not going anywhere else. We're not going to be able to trade for that pick either. So, oops. I didn't mean to exit. I was supposed to <laughs> check potentials and then... Uh, oh, Marion Hosa. He was still... Okay. Um... Hemsky, <laughs> uh, I don't think we'll see any main names here, really. Uh, Franzen, yeah, this is just like mostly guys who are already gone. Uh, Bolin, Oduya, Orpik, Kolyakovo, England. Yeah, no huge, huge names here. Zach Stortini, my goodness. All right, uh, yeah, Budai, Gustafsson, McElhaney, all right. No real major names retiring right here. Couple guys becoming scouts, Englund, Hainsey, and uh, Erickson for the seamen. <laughs> okay. Before we get into that, I actually need to, uh, I want to check that draft class again and actually pin some guys who we want to go after before we actually start the draft. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to trade up here. We might want to trade back. I don't really want this guy. And the fact that he's, well, he might be actually just pure listed to go second. I mean, I could use this guy as a winger. He's got, you know, he's a 200-foot game, offensive creativity, playmaking ability, weak character, but then it looks like he would mesh well in any locker room, so it's a bit interesting. So I'm not too sure. This guy is ranked third, but listed to be a bit worse, so... It's a tough call. It really is. I mean, we could always turn this guy into a winger as well. I mean, that's not the big... It's not a huge deal. Like, we could always make this guy into a winger. But, yeah, anyway. um, Yeah, the first overall would have been amazing, but not in the cards right now, so... Okay, what else? So, Rawlings... We'll, I guess we could pin him as well, because he might be... Yeah, we might be, have a pick to grab him. I don't know. 20th is kind of close. but And our scout has him ranked at 22nd. Plus, he's another lefty. But I'll pin him anyway. Just because. Other than that, nothing really. And, all right. So, we did get an extra low elite scouted here. That's good. A right wing power forward. And another lefty defenseman. But that's kind of it. No other with three or more. So, those aren't really even close to guaranteed. So, we that's kind of almost it for the uh, pins here. Yeah, these guys we're not going to be able to grab. All right, so we're going to have a few more blind picks then. All right, no worries. I'm glad it's a bit harder to find uh, elites nowadays. It was a little silly in the uh, <laughs> in the beginning there. All right, so before we actually start the draft, we're going to check out the uh, awards from uh, this past year here. St. Louis won the Stanley Cup. Interesting. Um... Wait, okay, yeah. Uh, Vegas got the precedence. <laughs> uh, Clarence says Campbell. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they made it last year, and then they won it this year. Something tells me that they're a little too good in this game still. <clears throat> EA. Uh, Prince of Wales, Pittsburgh. So, Pittsburgh made it to the cup and then lost. So, damn. They were trying to uh, come back and regain their, uh, 
their title, but St. Louis would not be denied. At least it finally went back to the West. All right. Art Ross went to Patrick Kane. Hart Memorial, Patrick Kane. Norris went to Ghost Despair. Okay. Uh, Lady Bing to Patrick Kane. Two years running. Calder went to Zadina. All right. Nice. Uh, Con Smythe to Tarasenko. Vesna to Fleury. Winman Jennings to Fleury. Yep. Uh, Masterton to uh, PK Subban. Selkie to Crosby. Yep. He did win it as I th thought he would. And Ted Lindsay to Patrick Kane, and Patrick Kane and Maurice Richard. So I guess even though Bergeron was there with like a much higher face-off percentage than anyone else at like 60.9 or whatever it was, his his other stats weren't as good. So while the face-off percentage does look important, I think it still takes into account the plus-minus, the hits, the blocks, the uh, giveaway-takeaway ratio too. So that's good to know. I mean, if not for anything else, then just knowing. <laughs> I don't know why it's good to know, but I like knowing things. Alrighty, so let's get into the draft here. Second overall pick. If if we get lucky, they will pass on Lafreniere. I don't see it happening. They don't want to give up the pick. It's highly unlikely they pass on this guy. So we'll likely just pick the center playmaker, and we could play him on the wing if we want to, or play Jack Hughes on the wing if we want to, since the guy seems to shoot a crap ton. Maybe he'll be a sniper. <laughs> he'll be our goal scorer. Well, uh, who knows? But we should probably just grab the best player available at ninth, though. This is where I think we do have a, uh, an elite actually scouted at nine, or at least very close to nine. Uh, he's unfortunately not scouted. There's the guy perfectly scouted at eight. But Byfield, now this guy usually is elite. I don't know if the new update has changed him to not elite. That would be interesting. But he was elite in the last one. No weaknesses. I do like that. He didn't turn it out, uh, out to be much in our... Uh, uh, Buffalo playthrough, just like a third liner, but you know, this one could always be different and he's right there We don't have to move for him So even if he turns out to be like a top six now in this current update, it still is a decent pick at ninth All right, and then our next when's our I should actually figure out what our other pick is I'm not gonna be moving up for the Islanders one. They don't want to give it up. So we're not great. Oh man 25th so, <gasps> Wait, I think that's right where the goalie is or maybe a little bit after I hope it's not after where is that goalie? I could I could go to my pins, but it's really close. Um, oh, dude, it's right on it. I am worried though that he might go earlier, but he is it is right on it. Our scout has him ranked a bit higher too, so he could go. He could yeah he could go earlier perhaps it it ha it does happen. I don't think it will because his, his scout ranking has not changed whatsoever, but it is a fucking franchise goaltender. Now, the only downside about this guy is that the whole lack to drive lacks the drive to win at times. But damn, look at those stats. I mean, uh, yeah, it's C minus competition, but still in juniors, you really see like really, really good goalie stats. 13 shutouts too. Like that guy, in my opinion, is just like I can't miss. So we're not going to get Rawlings, but I definitely want to get Schlemko here. I think that's a sure thing. But other than that, yeah, I think we have a pretty good game plan here. We're going to get Andronov and then probably grab Byfield. And then hopefully that freaking franchise goaltender. And after that, man, the possibilities are like endless. We got someone at 44 who we should be able to get. Top six gem. And then I'll have to, ooh, these ones are going to be a bit tough. They're all really close to each other. And, like, and I like to get all of them, honestly. So might have to do some maneuvering here with some other picks, but that's not the hugest of deals here. When's our next pick in second? Uh, that is below 44, so we're good. That's 41, so perfect. All right, well, pick Lafreniere, you assholes, or, or pass on him and make my day. Please pass on him. Nope. <laughs> not happening, unfortunate, but I don't think anyone's ever passed on Lafreniere there, so we're probably just going to grab Andronov here. 200 foot game, offensive creativity, playmaking ability. I really like that about him. It does say weak character, and then it comes around here, and, and it looks like he would mesh well in any locker room. So I'm not too sure what that's what it, what that's about, but he's kind of better than over here. Weak shot utilization, and then the sniper guy. This guy looked great, but it's just yet another goal score. Which Hughes isn't the greatest of. I mean, Hughes can be anything. It's just probably a matter of who we put around him. But this guy is, I don't know, I really like that he brings the defensive game to it as well. 200 foot game. That's thats really strong. So it does say weak character, but I think I'm going to take a chance on this guy anyway. 
So let's see what he turns out to be. Holy shit, you sh <sighs> Okay, he's even better. Well, I mean, potential-wise, he's not better, but 81 overall. Starting overall. I mean, he's third line ready, easily. Wow. All right, I can't wait to get that guy uh, scouted and see his uh, actual stats. But yeah, this guy's a third liner immediately. Right off the bat, we can start him in the center, see what his face-offs are like. That'll be good. Okay, so there we have it. Let's see what else is in this top five. Anyone high over? Oh my god, Dublowitz is only a 76. Yeah, I love, okay, 80. We got the highest ranked player in this draft, technically. Besides the uh, potential, definitely uh, Morris. I believe this guy was, no, left. yeah, lefty. All right. Seattle, not a bad, like 75 sniper, mid elite, that's great. Okay, let's see, they're going to continue with the high top six for Lawrence, good. Uh, medium elite for Roche, Ooh, 78, that's a great pick, what the heck? How did he go for, that far back? All right, don't go, don't go, don't go, yes, Perfetti, okay. Perfetti, wait, wasn't that guy ranked a bit? No, no, he wasn't ranked higher, or was he? I don't know. No, that's just a guy we actually had scouted. So now we could grab Byfield. And he might not be elite anymore, but I I have a feeling he will be in this latest update. I could be wrong, but what, I'm not going to move this pick. It's still... It's yet another center, but as a power forward... Okay, he is still elite, and he's at 75 overall. Holy hell, what a strong top 10 this is. Insanely strong top 10 in this second year draft. Another elite, 75 overall. Holy hell. This was a draft and a half. We got an 81 overall meet elite. And then 75 overall mid elite. Wow. What a, what a great draft to have top 10 picks in. Wow. Okay. This is going to be good. All right. So now the question is, do we want to try to move this pick up a little bit? Just to guarantee ourselves that franchise goaltender. Just to be super ultra safe. It might be kind of a good idea. I don't want to lose out on that. They don't want this pick. But it's not going to take too much to move up for it, I don't think. I'm trying to move up two slots, so, you know, it's a bit more than quote-unquote normal. But there's a couple guys in here who aren't worth much. Quite close to fair value. Okay. So all we need is, like, one more garbage guy in here. Could be the other bottom six. Uh, 62 at 21. There you go. I might not need the uh, bottom six in there with a low top nine. Okay, I will. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, they're probably around the same value. So there we go. Green. Green and Wendland in there to swap these picks. There we go. Okay. I just want to get a little bit earlier. Just a little bit earlier. I want to guarantee myself that franchise guy. I'm going to where our scout has him ranked at just to be safe. Because you never know. He might even still go earlier, which would make this freaking move obsolete. But let's hope that that doesn't happen. I don't think he will. Uh, nice. Rawlings went that elite. Yeah, I was checking that guy. It looks like he went a little bit. Didn't we have him ranked at tw or the central scout have him ranked at 20? I think so. So he went a little bit after. Let's not take any chances here. Let's grab Roger Slemko, 18 years old, franchise potential goaltender. A great glove hand, good angles, good on breakaways, no weaknesses. The only bad side is he does keep the emotions in check. He's very loyal, but can lack the drive to win. So I'm going to see how that will work for a goaltender. But I'm grabbing this guy because franchise potential. If anything, it's excellent trade value out. 59 overall. They're never going to be high overall with franchise potential, but still, close to 60 overall, man. Usually, if you're getting franchise potential guy, they're low 50s. Sometimes even in high 40s. This is kind of best case scenario. And I mean, it'd be awesome if it feels like 70 overall, but I've literally never seen that for a franchise goaltender. If you have, man, let me know. If you've... All right. Uh, now we can go up to the next pick and get the guy ranked at 44. I know that. I don't even have to check. Let's see what else went in that first round, though. I'm curious. I'm curious what makes you so curious. Um, top six. 73, top four. Nice. 67, top four. So Ghoulie is the same as the other Ghoulie. Unless that is the only Ghoulie. But I'm pretty sure Buffalo starts with a Ghoulie. Uh, top nine, top six is okay. And then it goes back to top four. Oh, and then back to top nine, top six is a low elite right there. Another low elite. Two low elites right there. Def two defensemen. Nice, okay. Lefty from Denmark? <laughs> no, that's not. No, it's Norway. Oops, sorry. Norway. Norway. Sorry. Uh, Russia. Varlamov, and he's also a lefty, so. Okay. 
Let's keep that in mind for our other uh, picks in this round. I think we have one more in this round. Now, this guy's the gem. This is the guy who I want. I think this is the only guy I ranked around here. So, any, any lows that come up after that? Mm, not exactly. And then there's that guy. So, it's a low top six. So, might not be anything. This guy's listed as a gem. HL, seven, six. Four. No, he can only be a low top four. So it's actually looking like there'll be no more low elites after that. And I do believe we have another second. Unless, no, we do. We definitely do. Because we had three firsts and then, yeah, two seconds. That 26, damn. That might not be much of anything. But right here, we can get the gem. Uh Oh, I went down. That's why I couldn't move to the side. We can get the uh, gem here. Top six gem. Another Yet another fucking center. But <laughs> Similar to Brad Marchand. What? Okay. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. We could do that or grab the defenseman, but it's yet another lefty. So this is a lot of centers. We definitely fucking need wingers, but I mean, we could always change some centers into wingers, and it's probably better to have more centers than you need. 62 overall, top six guy. Russ Carcillo. Similar to Brad Marchand. We have an agitator. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Very uh, not as good as that guy. But he's listed as a gem. So, hey, whatever. I'll take it. Now, I'm not too sure what to do about this next pick here. It's going to be interesting. A lot of medium top nines. I haven't seen any yet. No more low elites since those first two guys. I don't know if we'll find any with how this is. looks like it's trending. Where's that low top six guy? I didn't see him. Maybe he's not gone yet. So, okay, what what do we do here? Now, we could just, yeah, here it is. We could just grab the low top six. I don't think this guy will go up to low elite because it doesn't look like he has the opportunity to. Because you got seven, six, and then four. And he's only got three ticks missing. So, that's usually how it goes. Listed as a gem, though. So, likely he could be low top four. He is a righty, which I do like. But it also looks like he may be injury prone, which obviously is not good. This guy, all guaranteed injury prone, so really not good. None of those are good. We could always take a random chance on like someone like this. He'd probably just be top nine. Is he like, I don't know what kind of player he is though. A couple busts in here. Really nothing good here. Rodin is kind of the only guy I'm looking at because he's got low potential. He could, could be elite, could be something else. 72, we're at 58. We should have another pick before then. So 32, this would be 64. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71. Eh. We're right after, aren't we? 72, right? So we'd have to trade that up a little bit. If we wanted to grab that. <sighs> yeah. It might be worth the chance, but it might also not be. Yeah, I don't know who to grab here. These two guys, this is low top six. This guy can only be low top four. I do like that he's a righty, but he also might be injury prone, which is not great. It's not horrible. We could take a random chance on this guy. It's yet another center, though, so I'm trying to lean away from that. But he could be, like, very low chance he's a leader or anything like that, but he could be. Usually those other medium elites appear in the third or fourth round. But, ah, uh, I'm just not sure. I'm, we've had good luck with center, so maybe I should go with that. Not a huge fan of having a low top six or a low top four here. Or, or yeah. <laughs> I just need to pick something, though. I'm, I'm taking too long here. I'm taking the chance. Yeah, top nine. Oh, well. I had a feeling it'd be that. It's very unlikely for it to be anything else, but low top six. At least his overall was pretty freaking good. Where was that low top four? What is his overall at? 63. So yeah, this guy would have technically been the best, but he's also injury prone, so 
really. If he makes it there, how often is he going to be getting injured? Downsides. Character downsides and uh, <laughs> those other downsides. Okay, now I need to decide if I want to move up. Whoa there. Is it worth it to move up? Maybe. They want to give it up. That's the 71st. We'll go like one over it just because. Grab the 73rd in there. And we can send across a 201 because it doesn't look like we'll need a 7th rounder in this draft. I'd rather do something else that we really, really don't need. Do we still have that backup potential guy? Yes, we do. Okay. Bam. Let's chuck him in there. That should do it. There we go. Yeah. I'd rather hold on to picks. <laughs> you never know. I can get a fringe starter in, in the 7th round and improve that value. So let's tr um, move along here into the 3rd round. And we got this guy ranked it low. Now... He might not be a low elite, but it, to me, it's still worth a chance. This is kind of a wild card shot in the dark, and I want to take it, so I'm going to take it. Please be a low elite. That would be incredible. No, low top six, but still. It, to me, that's still worth a good chance. Now, it, there's no guarantee for him to be an, a low top six because we saw those in the last round. It can vary round to round, especially when you start getting in the fourth round, third and fourth round. You could, really, you could start seeing a few medium elites popping up again. But low elites, kind of anywhere. Usually at the beginning of the second round. Sometimes more to the mid and end of the third round, fourth, and everything after that. But, yeah, still worth it. Not bad. I wish he was a low elite, of course, but whatever. When's our next pick? When is the, uh, the next guys coming up? Let's, uh, let's check that out here for our pins. Some fringe starter goaltenders there. Yeah, I want this guy. 145, 152, 151. Okay, so like 145 to 152. Let's see what we got there. We'll definitely trade some later picks if we need to. Or trade some earlier picks to grab some more from that area. All right, so we got one, 130, 137. We have nothing. Okay. But 130 and 137, not bad. We could trade one of these picks back and grab like another pick and then like another pick from the year after just to grab some extra value here might not be a bad idea we could start with the 137 so we could even trade well we want three so we can't grab it with the 169 so we could trade one and if someone has like two picks around that area I highly doubt we'll be able to find something like that but if there is someone Let's look real quick. Nope. 151, yeah, but then nothing else. Buffalo has the 154. No, no, no. No, I don't think we're going to find something like that. It's going to be... That's a tall order. I might just start picking them with my own picks here and pick like off the board and grab just like one extra. Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? No. All right, screw that. I'm not even going to bother. That's that's too nitpicky. All right, so our next pick, we can take a couple blind picks here. All right, fourth round, fringe starter, medium top four, and likely enforcer defenseman. Interesting. Medium starter, starting to get into the, uh, the good old mid rounds here. Where you can find a lot of fucking course. I had a feeling that guy would be elite. <laughs> but then I also like looked at the fringe starter and said, ah, maybe not. Oh well. Well, we're, we're gonna get ourselves an elite, a medium elite goalie anyway, so we're all Gucci. Ooh, a medium elite defenseman right there. Laura Kynan. Not bad. Defenseman. Laura Kynan from probably the Liga. Okay. Righty, ooh, I like that. I like both of these. We got the 105. Why has this guy been passed up so many times? What's our next pick? Don't we have like one like right after this? Not as after it as I thought. What? Okay, not even close. So I'm not going to be able to get the other one. Like the Finisenkov. Both of these guys have potential to be low elites. This guy's 20. I'm liking all that. Uh, might be injury prone. 
but would mesh well. But this guy has the way better character traits, or traits in general. Well, good character. Looks like he'll have some weaknesses, of course, is the mid-round, but 20 years old already. Pro mentality. Any team would love to have him in the locker room. I like, I really like that. That's good stuff. I want to check, though. Even though the guy's a medium elite, and he was in the previous round, too. Uh, there's, all, there's also a low top four here. I don't know if this will make any difference, but... Yeah, finish 19. He is on the older side of things, but he's a medium. And this is completely different. This guy might not turn out to be anything, but he has the better character traits for sure. This guy could be something. He's got the potential to be uh, elite at the top nine with two ticks. He can go, you know, top six elite. That'd be great to have him there. Good shot utilization. You know, it's it's a great game. Um, well, great maybe, but it's also this guy could be the low elite with really good character traits. And he's a righty, which we do need. So I'm going to take a chance on him. Hopefully. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Zero, man. My blind picks right now are shite. <laughs> okay. I'm just making sure no one was a medium elite here. I don't want to take too heavy an MNL. That's a pretty damn good pick right there. So is that. Top f medium top fours right now. That's good. All right. 119. We're getting closer. We can grab the starter who's listed as a gem. That's free value. I kind of need that secure thing right now. My blind picks haven't worked too well, so I'm just grabbing this. Gem starter. Give me the free value. <laughs> Turn that fourth round pick into some into basically a first rounder. So there we go. Ah, yay. That helps. That helps recover a little bit. Okay, so now... Now we want to start thinking about uh, moving a pick back to grabbing some other stuff. So where are we at? We got the 130th. We want, we can grab two of them now, but we need another pick. So yeah. So we could actually move up the six and the seven then if we really wanted to move them up for like a fifth. We won't be able to get any extra picks from like next year or anything like that, but we should be just fine. Or we could trade one of these plus a player, a low ranked prospect. We still have a bottom six guy, I believe, or two. One bottom six guy, 20 to 66. Not great. Really not good. And he's, well, he's a two way forward. He actually has decent defensive stats, but bottom sixes, I'm just not a huge fan of having them. They never really pan out too well. So. Yeah, I think I could package him together with someone else. So, all right, let's check out. I guess I could start picking them actually right now if I wanted to. Just pick them off the board. I could look around to see if there's anything, but look at this. There, it's all pretty clear what the hell these guys are turning out to be. This guy's the only one with any sort of potential to be an elite, and he could still drop down. I got Blomdahl right there for the 145. We'll pick him. We could pick him right now. I think it's probably just better to start picking him now because look at that. Look at it. There's really not much before that. <laughs> this is all trash. This guy's the only, like, this guy's the, the shot in the dark. I could pick him with the third 137 and then, or pick pick him now and then pick Blomdahl with the 137 and then trade for an extra, well, I need two more picks. It's a big ass risk. But hey, if he turns out to be an elite, it might be worth it. Now I'm torn. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I want to take a chance here. I do. I really do. Come on now. Fuck. All right. Well, whatever. It's a top six. It's not horrible, but okay. Now we need to, with the 137, we know who we're grabbing. And then we're going to need to move up two picks. We need both those guys. So that's going to take, take a bit. Not a big deal, though. All right, so with the 137, let's grab the goalie. And I want both those low elites for sure. Damn, I was really hoping to get lucky right there, but eh, whatever. Still worth a gamble, in my opinion, because all these guys are either bottom sixes or seventh Ds or worse AHLs. Likely, all of them. Anyway, let's grab uh, Yanni Blomdahl here. Give me that. 48 overall elite. Yeah, he's going to take a shit ton of time to develop. 
But hey, not bad. And I th he's he was okay. Good. He was 18. I was hoping he wasn't 19 or anything like that. Yeah, he will take some time to develop for sure. All right, our next picks. We want to start grabbing. What pick is this? Like, I just got to figure out the number. Okay, wait, 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 don't want those. Still want the fourth round here. All right, where are we at though? Wait, what? No, fifth. This uh, fifth round I want. <laughs> uh, thirty-eight. So right here is about one forty-eight. Okay. So we want son of a bitch. It's Toronto, right? I don't fucking know where. I, where the hell was I? God damn it. <laughs> one fifty-third is the Colorado. Yeah, we want two before that. <laughs> There we are. So probably these two picks. Or these two. Let's just go for the Capitals one. I don't want to lose anything else here. 149th now. Nah, let's grab like the one after it. 150th should be fine. All right. Let's grab this. They want the 169. Good. I might be able to get it just for the players and be able to keep that pick. Or am I gaining a pick? Yeah, actually I actually might be gaining picks. I can't remember how many guys I've drafted, so I'll have to have to sort of play this a bit safe. But I am losing a pick, so you know what? Let's put the seven in there instead and hold on to that one, because we are still trading away a pick. But I do still need another fucking pick. Hmm. Okay. That should work. Mm, maybe. It'll be close. Okay, it did work. Cool. All right. We got that pick. So we can grab the first. Sorry, I'm just trying to do math in my head as I do all this because I want to make sure I don't draft too many guys. I want to stay within the rules for this. Yeah, a bunch of HLs back up. Yeah. Yeah, even our top six guy is better than most of this bullshit. So I guess I'm sort of thankful for that. <laughs> we still improved upon the value. Okay, so we'll grab uh, Weber here, power forward, and then we'll grab this guy. We'll just have to trade for yet another pick, the one right after this, but I just want to secure at least one of them here. Boom. And now we'll trade for this one at 151. So we'll actually need to put in the six because, yeah, that'll be too many picks if we don't. So put the six in. I don't have any other like trash trash picks here or even trash trash players so it's gonna have to almost be someone who's more than what they uh, could use here so let's I guess I could chuck this guy in there 20 to 66 for a French starter is not bad but I mean it's a French starter so we'll do that and then we'll take back a pick of theirs from next year or something like that you can actually probably get a decent pick here maybe even a third Probably not, but eh, well, with the value, maybe. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> this guy is better than I thought it was for the fringe starter, whatever. Okay. So we still get that. We're still getting a, a, a low elite, so it's not like we're being ripped off. The pick value is now is a low elite, so. <laughs> Guess I fucking could have got more, though. Damn. I misjudged that one. I'm always thinking it's crazy hard with the hard trade difficulty, but. Guess I should be used to it by now. All right, so we got a 54 overall low elite and a 53 overall low elite. They'll both take a while to develop, but there are two more elites in our system. This guy's actually 19, so. But still, good stuff right there, and that is the end of our draft there. But what I will do is I want to see if anything else goes here. After our picks. Another low elite. Nice. Kravchenko was a low elite. Three of them in a row. Okay, nothing there. So we're in the sixth round. All right. Let's see what went in the six here. Anything? What did we miss out on? Uh, high HL starter. Rip. Fringe starter. Doesn't look like much. Another fringe starter. Can I just sim up to like the second to last pick? I don't think that lets me do that. No, you can only trade for the pick. Ugh. I don't care enough. <laughs> I just don't care enough. 
Uh, it doesn't look like there'll be much there anyway. All right, so there we are. There was our draft. Andronov Byfield starting out with two elites. We got Schlemko, a franchise goaltender, and Carcillo, who was a top six center gem. And we start off with a bang. Got a little more difficult in the middle rounds. Still got some good stuff in there. And then towards the uh, mid-late rounds, we uh, picked it back up again with a, some more elites. So all in all, a great draft. Can't take anything away from it. It was a great draft. And now we got to see who we need to resign. I don't think it'll be too much. We, ooh, we got a couple USA East and USA West. I think those are my C guys, so I don't really give a fuck. I'll probably find better guys than you anyway. I'm pretty sure those guys were my scouts ranked at like C. So really, uh, B minus. Uh, I might get him back. I might check and see if there's anyone better though. But USA East and USA West, you know what? There's not many guys there. I might just want to hang on to them. Yeah, and I can always fire some other scouts if I find some better ones. So not the not the worst case. You know what? I might just get them back. That, that lets, okay, short term too. So it's not too bad. You know what? Yeah. Those leagues are, are small, so. Perfect. There you go. All right. Yeah, I'll just get those two guys back. B minus isn't too bad. And for a league like that, yeah, it'll be all right. There's, there's usually only like 25 to 30 players in those leagues every year, so. They have all the time in the world to get them scouted. Anyway, let's go to our contracts here and uh, start figuring things out. And I think we did I did a lot of it. Uh, McQuaid, are we going to need him back? Strom, 81. What do you like, though? What do you... Really not that good. He's still only listed as depth. He's not good defensively. He's not good offensively. He's just not a good player. So, he's gone. Goodbye. We're signing Andreoff, uh, whatever. Andronoff, definitely. Uh, McQuaid, we might need him. Trevor Lewis doesn't want to get signed. Boone Neves wants to be signed. He's he's a bit better. He's a bit better all around. He's listed as depth, so you might actually be able to use him as depth. What's he want? Oh, yeah. You know what? That ain't a bad deal, sir. You could even play AHL with that. Vessi. Or VC, I guess people are saying, is that how it's pronounced? VC? Yeah, this guy's good. He doesn't want to be resigned, but he, this guy's. Mm. Yeah, we have money. Yeah, we have money. Let's get VC. All right, Lindgren. Top four, medium, 79. He's ready. Well, about ready. Yeah, this is a guy you. Well, I'm obviously not going to get rid of him. I'm just trying to. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he'll grow at least. So he wants a little bridge deal here. So, all right, let's get him to that bridge. Uh, Stahl, that's our captain. <laughs> Bigris. Really not good, but he could take care of AHL if I really need him. Clayson doesn't want to be resigned. Okay, get rid of him then. Not going to overpay him. Smith. I'll really have to see what I need for defense and stuff like that. Revo. What the heck, bro? You don't want to come back? You were solid, though. Kind of want you back, Revo. You got to protect our young guys still. <laughs> He'll probably start declining. In which case, he won't, likely won't be much more than depth. But still. Terry. This guy was like AHL. I need to figure out what we're going to do for that. 75 at 17. I'll probably leave him off contract for one year. He's not going to be NHL ready, and I can't play him AHL, so I'm going to leave him off contract for at least one year. 75 at 22 is a top nine. He's really not that great in any category, especially in the defensive side. Look at his awareness. 78, and he's already 75 overall. But it's he's kind of worth taking a shot on. He's worth keeping around just because he's up there. This guy's really not. But we kind of need guys to play, too, at the same time. We're low on contracts, so i got to be careful about releasing a bunch of dudes. This guy's likely not going anywhere, but how's he built? Ooh, really well, actually, especially on the defensive end. So if he does grow, I want him. Meskinen, likely not going anywhere. But again, I kind of just need guys to play places. 
because we're not at the point yet where we have a whole lot. We can grab some lower dudes in free agency. All right, now we can sign Naki. It's okay, 72 at 20. Now he gets his entry level. So he'll be in the AHL now. Anderson, 71, 21. It's good enough. Sorta. Uh, Keen. Yeah, 7120. I think he gets his entry level now. Yep. Okay, one more year for you. Probably two entry levels here. Yeah, we actually, we could probably release some of those defensemen then in the AHL. We'll go, we'll go a bit younger here. I'll sign these guys because I can. Even though they don't, nah, they might not get anywhere good. But we'll at least have them in the system now so that in a few years they'll be starting to knock on the door. 58 at 20, low, top 6, D, no. You're gone. All right, goalies. Okay, we got, ah. Oh, that's George F. never mind, good. I thought, I, was, I, was, I tried to make sure I remembered to trade all the uh, uh, guys who were coming off their contracts, and I did, except for George F. Just jorking. Looks like he'll only be 80 overall, unless he gets another jump after free agency, which he might do. But I gotta remember to turn off my thingies. I really hope he does. It overall is just not good enough. He's on a really good contract, at least. And hell, you know, this guy just might be a fucking solid backup. <laughs> of course, you'd rather him not be just a backup, but we can keep Georgiev around to be AHL for us. Look how well he did. He will cost a bit of money, but we have plenty of cash to throw around. Oh my god, he won't even cost money. I'm still just going to crank him up a bit. Yeah, let's get him. That's kind of a no-brainer for me. <laughs> Everyone else will chill. Off contract. All right, I think that was almost pretty much it. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, these are just the roster dudes now. All right, so Brendan Smith. We probably don't need him for AHL, but I'm still. I need to. I need to check this. Like, actually check this here. All right, so stalls in the system. He might be NHL. Begris. He's not really built too well. He's not built badly. Could use him. So we're gonna have this guy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, yeah, we have plenty for the HL. So we really don't need any of these guys. Smith can go. Unless we're gonna use him as depth or something like that, but we're really not. Beegris and Stahl. I mean, these guys might be honestly good enough for NHL here. But we got Shea, still got Forbert. And maybe McQuaid, but we got Pionk, so that's four. Five, six, but then also seven. Well, this guy can be AHL. Or he's listed as depth. We'll see what he is, but yeah, I guess I can get. I guess, I, yeah, I should get both of them back, actually. Stahl and Begris. And probably McQuaid, too. Because that makes four, five, and six, whoever goes in there. And then we still need actually a depth guy, too. One of these guys can likely be depth if needed. And this gives us just some security. Or we could let McQuaid go and look for someone who's slightly better just to help someone else out. I might do that. Let's release McQuaid, but get back Begris and Stahl. Because Stahl is number one, our captain right now. And he doesn't want much. And he wants a contract. So we could actually get him for less than that. I'm not going to. I'm going to give him one by one. Helps my uh, OCD. <laughs> it looks good. One by one right there. Two years at that. Yeah, that's a ridiculously good price. So we'll do that. Get those couple guys back. We still have tons of cash to work with. On the forward end of things, what are we looking like here? It's a One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, yeah, nine, ten. Looks we're looking pretty good actually for the forward end of things. We're gonna have some guys cracking the roster too. Yeah, Kravtsov, well, maybe. Lee Sanderson's already there. We'll see what happens. Letary could be good for AHL. You know what I should? Yeah, I'm going to grab Letary back. We need some guys to play AHL for us. So let's let's do that. And Schneider as well. We need some guys to play. Be on contract. Actually, I actually don't want to give this guy two years, though. Same with you, Fontaine, I guess. Yeah, you can get it two years. You're still young. 
All right, let's advance today, get some of this cleaned up. So I see how many roster freaking spaces I have, etc. We shouldn't have anyone uh, reject right here. Uh, if we do, okay, VC rejected. Re Revo rejected too, okay. Oh, Schneider rejected. Probably because I changed his years. I need to up his price if I do that. Because he's, yeah, he's like, he knows his time's short. <laughs> he know he ain't cracking that NHL. And eventually he'll be at that age where... Oh, VC didn't, yeah, that's right, he didn't even want a contract, but. That, if you don't accept that, bud, you're a little crazy. Probably don't need Trevor Lewis anymore, then. No, we didn't even really use, well, we used him a bit last year. And I still want Reeves over everyone else. Because fighting. Because young guys. I'll give you two mil. <laughs> I can. I have so much money. This guy. I don't need you for my AHL, dude. The highest two-way you can get. There you go. Enjoy. It's not even going to translate into much money in that AHL, but capitalize on it while you can. Next year, we're going to have to sign Foot. These other guys, Jillson. Carcillo's got some time, though. And uh, Hootenin will have to sign next year, too. But, yeah. I think that's it. Once I get these guys signed, that should be it. Let's advance a day. I'll double check everything to make sure we're good. And then we can advance to free agency and see what is available. Oh, yeah. There's my scouts. We got VC. We got Revo. Schneider. That fucking guy's still rejected. What the hell's your issue? He really doesn't want just a one-year fucking deal. I can honestly just let him go. And grab some trash dudes from free agency. And just see what the hell they are. Yeah, I'd like, what the hell? Let's screw you. I'm paying you the max amount that I possibly can for your role, dude. <laughs> What's he want, like a real deal? I could have just given him that, but you know what? I'm not feeling generous today. So we can grab another goaltender, a potential dude, if we really want. Fringe start or something, who knows. All right, before I go into free agency, I got to turn off those settings. Because they're supposed to be turned off prior to free agency so that we don't know what we're getting. It's more... It's cooler. Some more realism. Okay, so now those are off. And we could advance to free agency now. Let's see who is there. All right, cool. Cool story, bro. Glad you're coming back to this scouting team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, there we go. Okay. Let's see here. What is available? Landeskog, the Nuge, nothing major. Dougie Fresh, was actually hoping for some better freaking defensemen here. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was really hoping for some better defensemen. Dougie Fresh, I mean, we, yeah, we're not going to be able to grab him. There's four teams interested in him. A guy like him in his prime, he's not going to want to come to a rebuilder. It's ridiculous, no. We can Demers, probably, Pissick maybe even. I don't even know how good he is. But he's a righty. And I do like that. I'm not going to give him freaking five years. I know that. But I can give him like three. Three would be fair-ish. We don't really have any major, major prospects coming up in the defensive end. So I'm going to need some guys to spot fill. That wouldn't be a too bad of a bet. Pissick. And forward end, we don't really need anything on the forward end. And there's nothing crazy, crazy good here anyway by the looks of it. Kovalchuk. <laughs> Yeah, the new jet. Again, these guys going into their prime, not going to want to come to a team like ours. So, Pissick is really a guy we can grab. Yep. All right, goaltenders. What's available? Corey Crawford, Ryan Miller. Okay, nothing crazy, crazy good. Stolarz is there, the Zykov guy, who I know nothing about. 20 years old. I could get this guy for my AHL. He might be really bad, though, too. I don't know anything about any of these guys. But we could take a chance. All we need is a guy to play some AHL minutes for us and maybe have some decent potential. And, I'm, and those younger guys are our best bet, really. 20, 19, 20. I'd love to have the guys like that because it's basically like kind of like a free, a free wild card. They might not be anything, of course, but I think it's still worth uh, taking a gamble on. 
As for normal goalies, we'll stick with what we got. We're not going to grab any of these guys. Again, someone like Corey Crawford or Ryan Miller, they want to win. They're not going to want to come here. Okay, so free agency. That's what is kind of in store. We should probably grab Pissick. I think Pissick will be good. Other than that, not too sure. I don't think we need forwards or anything like that, but uh, you guys can let me know. We are, oh yeah, we are likely, well, maybe going to trade Zabanajad. We'll have to decide on that. Some people saying he might do really well as a second line center. We do have a lot of centers coming up though. And we're going to need some more wingers and defensive prospects. So I am more than open to turning Zabanajad into a pretty damn good pick. <laughs> or maybe two picks. A couple, a couple firsts from uh, these two years. We'll see. But uh, you guys can chime in on that. But for right now, this will be Sin signing off. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough Sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other Sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.